All right, hello, and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? Woo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> White canvas uh, timer disappears. All right, so we're working on Dreamer Designs, Fine Soft Day, from Lee McKelly. Uh, 120 centimeters by 40 centimeters, 47.2 inches by 15.7 inches 52 colors including two ABs which stands for Aurora Borealis they have an iridescent coating on them which kind of uh, just makes part of the canvases pop so yeah I'm not sure how many ABs Dreamer Designs has but yeah it's just kind of like a diamond art club and probably other ABs, but they're probably called something different. Alright, at the bottom section now. A little greener, <laughs> for sure. Okay, 905, so we'll just dive right in here. My favorite symbol, N. <laughs> Working on that. Well, you're having a good weekend. Everything's going good. Alright. Just kind of figure out where I am here. I think this N is like one of the probably more difficult symbols to read. on the canvas, but uh, it's like the only one that seems to be giving me grief. And it could be the time of day too. It's a little easier at this point of the day. Mm. Uh, I guess it's just the amount of light and probably even the angle that uh Looking at the canvas. So. I'm not sure if a light pad would make this worse or better to, <laughs> to see some difficult to read symbols. Uh, at least there's more pops of color, so that's good. I think it's just bright from here. <laughs> I think it's just bright colors from here on out. Uh, it's pretty windy out today, and uh, I guess it was it's getting warmer outside, so there's visible p puddles outside. Yeah, uh, they said it'd be windy out today, so... Lo and behold, there could very well be power outages. <laughs> if the wires are blown out, the blown out in a certain way. Now well, we're good for the moment. But what happens happens, I suppose. And the sun's out though, so. Yeah, the high winds might help uh, recede the water, get it to drainage. So, that's probably a plus. 
just so we don't have as much ice around if the temperature does decide to plummet again. Haven't really seen the news, like really watched it any this week. I've just heard snippets. So kind of out of the loop, but I think that's nice every once in a while. Not that it's a bad thing to know what's going on in the world, but just every once in a while it's just nice to not be exposed to the media all the time. I guess the iPhone tracks, like, what you're doing on it, <laughs> and for how long, and yeah, get, like, a report, I guess, on Sundays. <laughs> I just received one. Phone just tracks what you're doing on it. <laughs> yeah, social media is pretty up on the list. Yeah, pretty common. I calm social media. I use it for the channel every now and then. But yeah, it's pretty easy just to get the phone out of the pocket and just connect to Wi-Fi and look, scroll on social media. <laughs> and it's usually a reflex with either one of my phones. If I don't want to be talking to anybody, I just go on to my Samsung, which doesn't have a working SIM anymore, and uh, I can still connect to Wi-Fi and stuff, and just turn on YouTube music and listen to music for a couple hours. Well, I still use it to meditate, so one app that I have, <laughs> one meditation app that I have. It's like there's a piece of hair on the... <laughs> nice of a hair to be on like the darkest part of the game is dark piece of background. Hang on, swig some coffee, lovely.
of these nice greens. Just kind of right on the shore of, to the right of this brook or <coughs> oh, excuse me, a river. Go from green to blue. <laughs> Further. Just slightly to the left here. Yeah, nice little stream over here. So I thought that's going to be cool. Love water elements in these landscapes. Oh, just have some asphyxiation with water. Don't know why. Water mountains. Green. Anything that. I know, green landscapes. Grass, lush forests. It's a really weird <laughs> fixation in pictures. Just vibrant, bright colors. Are very attractive. Adhesive seems to be slidey in some places here on the canvas for some reason. Nonetheless, the drills still attach, but yeah, it's just kind of weird. I have seen a lot of a uh, certain chalk pens in canvas past couple days. It's that beach resort one. There's one person who doesn't like the confetti, and then there's another diamond painter who loves the confetti. On kind of funny that that canvas is just suddenly emerging. And then two totally different perspectives of it. <laughs> it's kind of funny actually. Ew, this confetti and then the vomit barf emoji. <laughs> Well, I guess they really like confetti. <laughs> wow, 
keeps you on your toes and yeah confetti just means detail yeah you might hear a saw here and there power saw my dad's working downstairs well it is sunday and it's his he has the weekends off so this is just my weekend off i'll be working next weekend hey doing for 15 something cool <laughs> well for that individual who doesn't like a uh, confetti and diamond paintings uh, better not look like look at Aries or Capricorn for Diamond Air Club. <laughs> those two were, oh, those two are a party. Mm. Uh, confetti is incredible on those two. <laughs> wow. And I think that's it for the horoscope Josephine Wall stuff I don't have any of those 12 <laughs> have any of those Josephine Wall pieces um, glad that somebody f um, has all 12 if they do collect those so good for you Good, good way to stay busy. You'll be uh, busy for a time. I don't know if Diamond Air Club doesn't have those kind of uh, verb sign canvases anymore. They'd be available somewhere else. Not sure. Would you just have to get permission from Josephine Wall to make a custom from then on, I guess? Because I think that Diamond Air Club didn't renew the contract with uh, Josephine Wall and some couple other artists. No, oh, the contracts just ran out, apparently, and then they just didn't want to renew. So, oh, making space for new artists. Not a bad thing by any means. Contract's a contract, but... I don't know all the details, but I think that's a summary of how it went.
down. I don't not necessarily a bad thing. Well, let's give an artist, other artists, a chance to show their work. Oh, not terrible. Ugh. Now, if you're still looking for some of the horoscope, oh, excuse me, pieces, but I'm sure there's somebody that would uh, probably uh, slash their stash or sell it. <laughs> Just kind of thin out their. Uh, stash because they'll probably never end up working on a certain piece I guess might be for sale somewhere and I guess that sensation comes along too where you are like oh that canvas is so cool yeah I'll do it and then you just change your mind about a piece and it's like, eh, not really. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's like, it's weird. It's probably a very weird sensation to have. I think it's awesome and then you just look at it again on a different day and it's like, eh, not really feeling it. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Normal, I guess, though. But... It can be easy to get hyped up about something if it's being talked about all the time and you just constantly are exposed to it. just want to be involved with it and included <laughs> and then yeah just new stuff comes out and your attention shifts and you just kind of look back and it's just like weird <laughs> really excited about this piece but now I'm not what <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure it happens. But if you're still excited about a piece, even if it's just, if it's an older one, older release, well, that's a good sign. <laughs> yeah, Randall Spangler's so many books, so little time. Yep. Always got excited, or will always still be excited about seeing that piece, somebody working on it, or an unboxing. Just the amount of detail, and just the picture in general, it's just, I think it's like the cat that's like behind the books, and the two dragons are just like, draglings, dragons, are just like chilling on this tall pile of books and it's like the middle of the night. And the cat just like is curious or <laughs> curious about the two dragons and their dragons are eating chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> it's really cool atmosphere. Really cool scene. <laughs> I don't know, you can see stars through the, like, window. It's like a cathedral type window in the background. One dragon's looking down to the other dragon, and the dragon on the floor is looking up to the one on the top of the books. I think the bottom one's like holding a cookie and the other one's reading a book or something. <laughs> it's 
a really cool dynamic. Yeah, it's kind of like a canvas like this, only it's vertical. It kind of has that scroll landscape kind of effect. Panoramic. <laughs> Except it's vertical. <laughs> Panoramic. I think panoramic means like horizontal and it's like a large shot or a series of shots connected to make a banner. All right, I think that's all the ends. Yeah, well, not do bad, actually. It seemed like there were a lot. Oh, well, it's just a lot of green in this area. It's a nice break from the purples and the dark blues. Not that any of the colors are terrible in this. They're not. <laughs> it's a really nice piece. Okay, and just keep going with the K X. Which one's that? Uh, oh, mile six. Perfect. Each canvas has a different level of challenge to it as well, no matter what company, diamond painting company it is. Like obviously more confetti is going to be, more colors is going to be a little bit more challenging. But it just depends on the complexity of the picture, but it's like a simple laid back image is, is good as well. Could just be a picture of a bird sitting on a flower or a tree or something, or at a bird feeder. Doesn't have to be complex to be a beautiful image. <laughs> Doesn't necessarily have to be loaded with confetti by any means. Yeah, art is subjective, so. There are different ways to appreciate an image, and it doesn't have to be complex or a Mona Lisa all the time for it to be an awesome piece of art. So, yeah, don't think you have to constantly be doing a Mona Lisa type piece. Just appreciate what you love and that usually radiates through it's a reflection of what you like and what you enjoy I think that's tons more important than uh, just getting fancy kits all the time I don't know I see garden gnome kits or gnome kits not necessarily garden gnomes. I don't know, just diamond pay what you enjoy or do what you enjoy. <laughs> it's a lot easier. <laughs> don't have to like everything, but just do what you enjoy. Life's too short and would be too finicky otherwise. patch of okay where are we at for time all right so we've hit the half hour mark so you've been watching uh echoes of color with jeffrey morrison as always down below in the description i put my facebook uh name 
first and last name basically. Uh, my Aqua's a Color Facebook business page and my Instagram tag handle. I'll never describe that properly. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, take care. All the best to your crafting endeavors or other hobbies or activities. Stay safe and uh, see you later. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha.